Hey guys, it's Dee here for the sign of Aquarius for March of 2019. The monthlies are already up, so you can check them out. It has the tarot and the healing session, so you want to make sure you check that out. Everybody loves that, um, so I keep doing that spread and the healing as long to go with it. The messages and the healing. But today I want to I wanna do a different spread, and we just came off of doing the five days get over your ex challenge in the Facebook group. So I wanted to come on today and you know talk about that there were so many epiphanies and great things from that challenge that i wanted to share it with everybody that is in this boat so i wanted to give you a little bit more clarity on your relationship you know uh, we're going to talk about the relationship we're going to talk about them you why you're stuck and how to move forward uh, because a lot of us don't know and we don't see and we talk about that in the challenge but i wanted to kind of bring it on to youtube for you All right, so let's see. Sign of Aquarius here. The relationship. Oh, we're going to take that one. The relationship. You've got the King of Swords and the Six of Swords. Now, you can see this energy is not that bright. There's a lot of darkness in this relationship that you had. A lot of fighting, a lot of bickering, a lot of <sighs> deceit, a lot of revenge, a lot of resentment, all of that you know, low vibrational stuff I feel was in this relationship. And, you know, it's like someone had to kind of walk away or was kind of like cut out, you know, with all those swords happening. And, um, yeah. So about them, you've got the two of pentacles and the sun card. So I do feel as though they were trying to balance a lot, but I also feel like they were trying it with the sun there that there needed to be a lot of healing done and they were trying to balance it without getting the healing, right? They were trying to manage their emotions and manage their lives without touching themselves, if that makes sense to you. So they were kind of trying to, and let me know below in the comments how this makes sense to you. Um, but like, how they were just trying to avoid at all costs. So they're also telling me this could have been some kind of addictions as well, like alcoholism, addiction to drugs, could have been other addictions. Just avoidance is is really what I'm getting. Like they kept themselves busy, balancing a lot um, in order to avoid the healing that needed to be done. And over here, you know, you've got the Wheel of Fortune and the Ace of Cups. And I feel like you were kind of like going along your way, you know, wanting a new start, wanting a new, you know, just wanted this to grow is what I'm getting there. It's just wanting it to grow and to take off and, and work and kind of like, you know, turning the wheel and seeing what happens. Um, and they're telling me you didn't have a chance. You didn't have a chance. So let's see. And again, this could be vice versa energy. Remember it's a general. So take what resonates, leave what doesn't. And, um, you know, you could check out your moon and rising signs as well. But let's see, why are you stuck here? Yeah, I feel like you were the one that was left out in the cold here. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So you feel like you were left out. You got the five of pentacles and the five of swords. So you definitely feel betrayed. You feel like you didn't matter. You feel like there was two swords in your back, like deceit, you know, maybe, um, you know, I hate to keep saying it, but it's so true. Like with all this darkness here, this definitely could have been a narcissistic relationship, you know, and stabbed in the back, just left out in the cold. You could have felt like this was all just that way, you know, just betrayed. Maybe, yeah, betrayed. I'm just going to leave it at that. You, you feel betrayed and that's why you're stuck. It's because you don't know why. You don't know how they could do that to you. Um, you don't know, you know, how they could just up and leave the way that they did. And cause you so much hurt and not care. How do we move forward? Hmm. Okay, so how we move forward is the Seven of Pentacles and the Five of Cups. And the way I see this is that, you know, the seven of pentacles is about long-term investment. It's like nurturing, nurturing a field of, you know, harvest and then harvesting it and then doing it again and again and again. And that's the healing. And you got the five of cups. Now you can see she's looking down and she's looking at all the cups that are spilled, but she's got two glistening full cups above her, but she's not looking. So in order to move forward, we've got to forget about this person and we've got to focus on you. 
You've got to put the investment in yourself to get yourself stable and, and better and healed so that you can move on with your life and disconnect and cut the cords, which we do in the challenge, um, you know, with this person. Because this person, it's not good energy. It's not good energy. We're not good together. The energy together, like you're focusing on what you had, but not realizing what you could learn from the, from the relationship and not looking at what's in front of you either. Okay, so um, yeah, so I hope that resonates with you. Let me know in the comments below how it resonates with you. If you like the spread, um, anything you want to let me know. And then also let me know if you guys want me to do mid-month readings. Uh, I might be putting them out next month um, if I get enough comments for them. So let me know and I hope this resonates and I hope to see you in the challenge. The link is in the description box and the comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. All right, love you guys and I will talk to you guys soon. Bye.